Leo, hi. So uh, this is going to be a reading for May 11th through the 17th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now, let's see. So, um, the overall energy for the reading, the Queen of Swords, this is somebody that's very, very determined. Somebody that's kind of, uh, they could come off as um, closed off a little bit emotionally. Um, but I don't see that necessarily. I see that more like this person is very direct. You know, they're going to tell it as it is. They don't care if it hurts anybody. They don't, they, they're not going to sugarcoat things. And um, they may appear that way, you know, emotionally close because of that. I don't feel it necessarily. It's just a direct person, somebody that knows what they want. Um, at least not in this reading. In some readings, I do see it different. Um, in the recent past, you get the Judgment card, the Six of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. Uh, you had to leave a situation. You had to move away from it. Um, I feel like it wasn't... It was part of your transformation. I feel like this huge, huge change and transformation started for you. And the fact that you had to leave that situation was part of this. And I feel like you communicated about it pretty clear in terms of, look, this is what needs to happen. Uh, even though I may not truly want to leave this, I have to kind of thing. You know, it kind of feels like that. Uh, in the current situation, you get the Nine of Wands, the Empress, and the Ten of Cups. You're standing there right in the middle of the reading, being in your power. Um, looking for happiness, you know, overall. Looking for love, looking for happiness. And I don't know if it's with somebody in particular at this point. It could be just you looking for this happiness in the whole wide world understanding that you're connected to everything and looking for that happiness within yourself um it's hard it's not an easy process you know for you to be standing there in that power but you're doing it um in the immediate future you get the six of cups the page of swords and the four of wands there's this connection coming in for you it's very powerful it could be somebody from your past it could be a very strong soulmate um but there's a little bit of uh, immaturity attached to this connection. Um, it feels like a marriage. For some of you, it could be a marriage here. Um, but more than anything, I feel like it's an intense connection that feels like the two of you are married. Even, you know, you could be, you know, those situations where you have this connection with somebody and you don't talk for years. And then when you meet, it's like you didn't see them since yesterday. You know, you're you're picking it up right where you left it left off. It kind of feels like that, but more intense. Um, let's see. Let's clarify. Let me clarify the Queen of Swords. Page of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Hermit. Huh. Somebody's uh, really, really thinking about coming into a partnership with somebody else. Kind of see this as being somebody coming towards you. Um, offering you some sort of a partnership kind of idea of, hey, let's work on this together. Somebody's thinking deeply about it. 
Now I do see the determination there. That's kind of making me think that they are planning on it and wanting to step forward. Could be them, could be you. Let me take a look at that judgment card in the recent past. The Sun card, the Seven of Cups, and the High Priestess. That's definitely you over there showing up with the Sun card. Um, you know, whatever you've gone through opened you up quite a lot to your intuition. In terms of, yeah, you may have been intuitive before, you may have listened to your intuition, but I see many, many options that appear in your life right now, and you're like, how does that feel? to me it's not like i think this is right or i think this is right or i no. how does that feel you know and that's how you're following your intuition like crazy whenever anything shows up in your life and i feel like that's what um happened to you there in the past something possibly painful that opened you up quite a lot to your intuition um let me see the Six of Swords. There you are. There you are. I love it when signs show up in the readings. Uh, the Moon, the King of Wands. There you are. And the Six of Wands again. Uh, you're you're done. You're you were done at some point. You were like, I don't want any more secrets. I don't want any more. I just want the truth. And if that can't be had in this situation that I'm walking away and I feel like that's what, exactly what you did too many secrets too many things hidden from you kept from you and you're like nope let me clarify the eight of wands the ace of pentacles the uh eight of swords and the justice card Yeah, there was an attempt here to revive something, to bring something back. But it was... I don't feel like it happened. Uh, there may have been communication on your part, like, hey, you know. And I, I don't... Because I don't see it as a necessarily as a clear offer of let's be friends, let's be something, let's do this together or whatever. I see it a lot this situation being in your head a lot um about it so that might have gotten lost through in translation here through words you know and it came out as blah and nothing happened um let's uh let me clarify this nine of wands in the current situation the Chariot, the Queen of Wands, and the Knight of Swords. Something's happening really, really fast for you here. Um, and I'm not sure if it's in regards to another person coming towards you or is just you getting into that full-on balance here. And it's happening fast. And it might be uncomfortable. It might be intimidating for you. It might be, you know, where you're aligning your heart and your mind. And it's creating this whole... Where am I now? Am I in my mind or am I in my heart? You know, a lot of that going on for you. And yeah, I mean, I see a lot of movement here within you. It's possibly from outside of you. It's possibly that somebody's coming towards you and it's creating this, whoa, you know, but I see it more as an inside thing. Let's clarify the Empress. Wow. Leo, you're making it no it's like it's my reading okay strength card the ace of swords and the hangman yeah you're you're definitely standing in your power here uh you want to take action towards something but not quite yet um there's a lot of inner thinking that you're doing about it you don't want to rush it you don't want to be impulsive about it you want to be just right about it but there's some action you want to take here towards something or someone um let me clarify the um, Ten of Cups there. In the current situation. Yeah, there's love coming in. There's definitely love coming in. I feel like the more you balance out within yourself, poof, 
this love is coming in the king of sword the king of cups <laughs> i was gonna say the king of love the king of cups and the queen of cups show up and in between them there's the ace of wands that's passion these these two people form a powerful couple in itself of love but there's some mighty passion in there too um let's see the six of cups in the immediate future the four of swords the two of cups and the eight of wands i feel like this time around the intentions behind what you want to communicate are going to be more clear than they were in the past where it was like bleh and bleh happened um it's like the two of you are coming together in love this connection needs healing uh, but what most people don't understand it's that the connection is formed by two people and when i say the connection needs healing it means that you individually need healing and you're doing your part here possibly they are too because they're coming towards you but you're doing a whole lot of healing and that's attracting this connection back to love to where it's supposed to be um let's clarify the page of wow swords the lovers i mean you have it all over the place here very powerful connection possibly a divine connection here going on um the world and the seven of wands no more rejection no more um fighting this connection fighting this love fighting the intensity of the connection yes it's going to be a hassle it's like you're just beginning to not fight this you or the, your person or the both of you you may have fought this together without even knowing it you know it's going to be a process i feel like you're just starting to release the fighting against this connection um let's clarify the four of wands the death card the page of wands and the two of pentacles something is ending something is ending here the the idea of how a marriage is supposed to be or a marriage itself might be ending you may be attached to some because i feel it's different for this connection for from this uh energy that i just read for but a commitment of some sort is ending and it might create a little bit of back and forth like okay i need to end this but it's definite here um it just may need some time it may require some time and i see you in the middle here of it so it might be on your side that you're needing to end something doesn't have to i mean it could be anything doesn't have to be a marriage you know um but it's gonna require some time so let's see let me um see what the universe has for you a lot of stuff you get four um the four of cups the page of wands the hierophant and the ace of wands yeah you're a little bit upset a little bit disappointed on how everything turned out in this connection currently in this powerful connection that you're dealing with but this person which might be a taurus um or this connection itself this is a very spiritual connection um is looking at a brand new passionate beginning again the ace of wands shows up so even though you may not like how things are right now the energy of this coming together is out there surrounding you uh, probably not getting to you physically quite yet but it's there so that's what i have for you leo i hope this helped and i'll see you next time